we have the wireless remote control socket and so it comes with five sockets and two remotes and inside the box this is what you get you get your two remotes and your five wall sockets and directions so I'm kind of excited about this because it's a really good idea I'm just looking real quick. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to pause it and I'm going to take all this stuff out. So this is what they look like when you um, open up the baggie and you just unplug them from each other. Now, for us, this is going to come in so handy for all the way down there. There's a light all the way down in the corner, but there's no switch for it. So, it's very dark. It's the only light in that room. And thus, I'm going to put one of these down there so that I can hit a remote and turn that light on. So, this is a perfect application for anyone who just needs to be able to turn lights on and off. Um, another I thing, if you're sickly in bed, you can control your lights or whatever, TV, whatever you want to turn on and off. This is the remote. You see a little tiny plastic thing here? What this is, is it's stopping the battery from being used because if a battery is, in the, is inside a product, even though you're not using it, it will drain the battery. So this stops it from connecting, thus the battery is not being used. If, for some reason, you're not going to be using this or anything with batteries, you should always take the batteries out because they'll just drain out. So I'm going to take one of these and then you'll plug this into your wall and then you'll plug whatever it is you want into this. Now, I just have to, I'm going to put you on pause so I can see if there's any um, coding I have to do to uh, make them work for each other. So I'll be right back. Okay, so what you do after you plug this in, on the top here is a little button that says learning. You will push this in until you see a shining red light and that will tell you that this is listening and waiting for you to sync it with the remote so you can press whatever you want whatever number you'd like to correspond with each one of these things um, if you want you can press all and then any button will work with it so let's go down and uh, Try this out. Like I said, I actually had always thought of something like this, but I didn't know they existed. So as you can see, there is no lights in here. This is my living room, and we don't use it very much. But in order to leave the house, uh, this is our way out. So, my plug is back there, hiding. So I'm going to plug it in. There we have that. Now I'm going to push this. It says to hold it for three seconds. And I see up front here, hold on. you see that? I don't know if you can see it. There is a red light right in the middle in between remote and control. And now I'm going to pull out the plastic piece and then I'm going to hit one. Now that light has gone off. So I'm going to use my camera. Sorry for facing you crazy, but I'm going to use my camera light for me to be able to see and whoops sorry and now 
Let's see if I, whoops, I got to turn this on. That usually helps. So it's plugged in. So I did not do it right. We will try that again. I'm going to try it without stopping in between the. So we're going to put it on on. Now this is on. So we press the learning button. Now I see the red light and I will press this. And I'm getting nothing. Let me try over here. Oh, there we go. Well, I guess if I would have done it correctly. All right. So I was pressing on and it was already on. So I pressed off and it goes off. So I did sync them. Um, what I was doing, I kept pressing this thinking it was going to turn it on and off. This is the on side. This is the off side. So sorry for that. It's a learning experience as usual. But uh, it's nice and flat to the wall. In other words, it, I mean, it's not totally flat to the wall, but you know what I mean. In other words, it's not a huge protrusion that's going to cause problems. And now, this is our little light. This is what we used to use to give us a tiny bit of light so that it wasn't so dark down here. I'll show you. This is it. This is what we normally use so that when we know we have to come out, we would leave this going so we had a little light down here. It really, it didn't do much at all. So now I'm going to go all the way down here to see how far it will work. Turn it up and off. So I am down in the kitchen now. Oh, and it works. Oops, sorry. That is awesome. On, now it's off. On, off. So literally it took me a few minutes, mostly because I didn't know what I was doing, but so easy. I like that they come with batteries already so that you don't have to be running out and finding the little watch batteries that go with this. But <clears throat> I also have to say that the company themselves, uh, their customer service is like ready to help you if you have any problems whatsoever. Um, I get emails from them asking me, have I had any problems with my order? Do I understand how, you know, if you have trouble figuring out how to use it, they will help you. But really watching videos like this will help you to figure things out. Um, you get to see me make my mistakes and learn from my mistakes. Um, you can clear, when the red light is off, uh, press the learning switch. Do not let go for seven seconds. That will clear the memory on that plug so that you can put it to a different plug, a different uh, remote number or something if you want. So you're not stuck with number one for the rest of your life. Uh, you can uh, clear the, you can clear this to use it on a different remote or a different switch, um, which is nice. So, oops, it's called Remote Control, Goranya, I think is the name, Goranya. Uh, not really 100% sure of the pronunciation, but there is the company name. And uh, I think since I bought this, I've gotten four emails. All of them are asking and giving like helpful tips on how to set things up. Um, just reminding that if you do run into any problems, please contact them and that they will assist you or me in any way necessary to help you figure anything out. But most of us, this is a simple operation. Some of the elderly may not totally understand the whole learning thing, but um, it's really easy and quick. And uh, you watch me make my little mistake. On is one side, off is the other. So you can't just keep pressing on. It's not going to go on and off by pressing number one. It's, this is for on, this is for off. And uh, definitely going to help us a lot because as you can see, it's quite dark down there. And it is 1.42 in the afternoon. 
Uh, we live in a basement apartment, so the only window there and there are the only windows. I mean, there's a window in my bedroom, but that doesn't help. Uh, there's a window there uh, going into a bedroom just so that bedroom gets some natural light from out here. But it's extremely dark down there. And I'm thinking that another place that would benefit this for us would be the laundry room because occasionally the lights in here, they're fluorescents and they don't work. Sometimes these fluorescents don't come on and these suckers blow out. So I'm halfway thinking about putting one right here uh, so that if this one, this one here is constantly flickering.